They're cheap, easy to get and deadly. Nangs, a dangerous craze that almost killed Molly. Tonight, her hospital bed warning, the advice she wishes she'd listened to as she fears she'll never walk again. Just please, please, just listen to me and just don't do them. She's crying every night in my arms, you know, saying, why, Mum? You know, and I said, well, you know, we tried to tell you, Molly, but you wouldn't listen. And it came so close to being deadly. <laughs> I mean, she was that far away from it, you know what I mean? Molly and her parents are talking about their nightmare and hope to warn others. The 19-year-old is now facing an awful price for a cheap thrill. Two weeks ago, I was a perfectly healthy walking girl, and now I can't do anything for myself. Um, you know, can't walk, can't control anything. It's so deadly. And we visit the smoke shop selling the dangerous party gas in the form of whipped cream canisters. Current Affair is currently at the store questioning us about selling nitrous oxide because the chick is in hospital. Enough. Enough. Molly is now a prisoner in her own body with nitrous oxide poisoning. Bedbound in this Perth hospital, she has little feeling from her waist down. She can't shower or eat without help. I, I am very scared that I'm not going to walk again. The day she came into hospital, she had a big job interview. She'd been waiting a year on, you know, for a job and, and you know, that's all gone through the roof now. Oh, good job. Good job. Yeah. Far from the usual outgoing, energetic young teenager she once was. <laughs> no, she's going! You could have overdosed and died. Absolutely. What started as seemingly harmless fun at end of school celebrations spiralled into addiction for Molly. I just got hooked really quick. I couldn't stop. Once I'd finish it, one, I just want more and more and more. She said she would inhale one to two of these one litre canisters every day. It got to a really bad point where I didn't even want to do it to my friends because I didn't want to share, you know. I just wanted it all to myself. Molly says she bought these canisters on buy now, pay later apps from behind the counter of smoke shops or convenience stores in Perth. How much money have you spent on Nangs? A lot. Um, I even got in debt because I put it on after pay and zip pay and a few grand. So you don't even need money to buy them? No, because I can put them all on. I just tap my zip pay, walk out of there and felt like I was just getting them for free basically. I didn't think about the repercussions because I just wanted it so bad. Molly's reality becoming so blurred she's crashed two cars in the last two months. It also causes extreme sleepiness, these nangs. Um, and she fell asleep in a car on the freeway and sideswiped another car. Her twin sister, Piper, raising the alarm. I was the one that first realised what was going on and I was the one that brought into light how bad it actually was. And we went into Molly's room and we found 30 canisters, big three litre canisters of nitrous oxide. I had no clue. I had no clue. I'm a health professional. I should have known. I should have seen the signs. Molly promised her mum she'd stop, but says temptation took over until the consequences caught up with her body. Driving herself to hospital two weeks ago, suffering from numb, tingly legs. The government needs to open their eyes. This is not acceptable. This is not acceptable in any way, shape or form that, that a 16-year-old can still go to the shops and do this. A teenage girl's actually purchased we, one of these from a Cloud9 store and she's actually ended up we, in hospital. Okay, firstly, can we talk outside? Secondly, we don't allow photography in the okay. store. This Cloud9 employee admits right. she doesn't agree with the sale of the dangerous gas. Is it upsetting, though, that a teenage girl's bought this? She was 19, she's, a, yeah. she's of age, yeah. but she's actually inhaled this and she's ended up in hospital with nitrous oxide poisoning? Yeah. How does that make you feel? Uh, that makes me feel disgusted. 
Um, I don't even think we should be selling nitrous oxide at all. As an emergency nurse, the hospital puts us through training to be able to, as registered health professionals, to be able to give that drug. And yet these kids can just go and buy it. Would you ever touch a nang again? Oh, absolutely not. I want, even if I could save, you know, one kid, I want them gone, I want them banned. Please, parents out there, have a look at this. Have a look at what your kids are doing. Look in their cars, talk to them. Let them see what the damage can do. Well, teenagers, right, they often think they're invincible. We all did, and they need to see what's happened to Molly. So hopefully it sinks in.